Hey guys, welcome to episode number 94 of OG Toys. I'm OG. Today, we're continuing our look at the new Mega Bloks World of Warcraft figures. Now, this set here is Iron Oak. Now, it's a small set. It has 19 pieces. Set number is 91002. Now, this is a really cool looking figure. Uh, the Iron Oak is a Night Elf Druid. Now, uh, one of the things that really impressed me about this figure, the base is just awesome. I think uh, this is one of the coolest looking bases for these minifigures, the first set here, the four. Really impressive details, but this figure itself is just so well done. Like, again, Mega Bloks has uh, pretty much put any other company that's making minifigures to shame. They just put so much detail into these guys. The paint applications has been unbelievable. Just take a look at the shoulder armor here. Now, he's got these little details, these silver details and accents. He looks like he has a little sword and a couple little rings there. And they go across both shoulder pads here. There's not a single smudge of detail. Everything is painted so perfectly. It's got these feathers, soft material, soft rubber there, and the green really picks up and just shines with the uh, the brown here. And on the brown, you can see the leather on the gloves. It's almost like a, a chainmail on the gloves. Really detailed, actually unbelievably detailed. Let's put it that way. You got the fur around the boots here too. The figure is just really impressive. Of course, he's got this staff. It just clips onto the back, and uh, man, impressive looking figure. Again, articulation, no issue with these massive shoulder pads. They move in and out, no problem. So, I'll just show you what it looks like without some of this armor, and uh, you can go from there. Because the big theme on these guys is the customizability, where, man, you can just create whatever you want. And I'm probably going to do that, but, man, these figures are just so well done. I doubt if I'm really going to play around with these too much. Like, again, the head sculpt, really phenomenal. Perfect paint job on the eyes. Man, they did a great job on it. This piece just comes off, and you can see the character underneath. It's just a gray tone, like a gray uh, body armor. And there you go. Soft rubber material. And, again... Great detail on it. He's got the fur on the back. His green, um, green details on the etching on the sides. Plus, you can see this is chainmail underneath. It's ridiculous. They put so much detail on this thing. It's phenomenal. So let's put this guy back together. Of course, this just plugs into the back, and basically, you can hold your weapon with it and plug that in. And it just firmly secures the chest armor into piece into place there, excuse me. And then articulation wise you got the ball jointed head. Kinda like Valorium there. Not a lot of range. But um, you know, Scarbuck had probably the best range and so did Graven. Just because uh the hair didn't extend all the way back onto their uh their back. You got the ball joint in the arm, socket, you got a good range of movement there, you got pin at the elbow, full three sixty on the wrist. You got full 360 on the waist, ball socket on the leg, and a pin at the knee. So this guy is definitely well articulated for a small minifigure. Did a phenomenal job on it. Now his base is just as impressive as that figure. I love the purple on there. You got the, I guess the good guys. Sorry, I don't know the name of this thing, but it's the purple or the uh, blue line. It looks really good. And this foliage here, now, this is a soft rubber material, and this is probably the, the most realistic grass I've ever seen, or foliage on any kind of minifigure set, better than anything LEGO has ever done, and it's absolutely phenomenal, they did a phenomenal job with it. These pillars too, this is one solid piece, and you can see the weathering and the different kind of textures on the marble, it just looks fantastic, really, really impressive. Great job on that. So you can put this figure back on this base. And of course, it's just attached via one of the plugins there on his feet. He did a great job on this little base. Alright, if I can get this figure plugged in here. There we go. There we go. 
So we'll just move this guy out of the way, and I'll just show you some of the close-ups on the box here. Great picture of the figure there. You got his name, set number. On the side, you got a really nice picture of the character as well. And on the back, basically another picture of the character, the armor that comes off, and of course you got all these raised edges and printing here. Really well done. Very sturdy box. Some more of the uh, the first wave here of characters that came out. And there you go. World of Warcraft. Really well done. Now the instructions. Again, you just got a bit of write up. You know, Iron Oak and the Night Elf Druid. And again, very simplistic. You know, this is the character. A couple pieces, and that's about it. Not difficult whatsoever. Again, another cool picture of that artwork on the side of the box with the figure. And another full pic of the guy. He just looks awesome. Really cool looking figure. And there you go. This is definitely one of my favorites out of the, uh, the sets that have come out so far. Just a cool looking figure. I really love the, uh, the paint scheme on him and the, the way it's designed. It looks fantastic. This base is just awesome. And this foliage is impressive. Definitely the best I've seen. So there you go, guys. Definitely pick this guy up when you see him. Iron Oak. From the World of Warcraft, from Mega Blocks. Like I said, these guys just came out on my local Toys R Us. Um, these guys were about seven ninety nine, and yeah, it's pretty much the pretty much the the going price for these little mini figures with the uh, bit of a diorama that Mega Blocks has been putting out for the past couple years, ranging from you know the Power Ranger Mega Blocks, uh, or excuse me, Power Ranger Mega Blocks, yeah, Halo stuff, and of course even Smurfs, which is kind of cool. Anyways, there you go, guys. Um, rate, comment, and definitely subscribe because we've got a lot more videos coming up and you don't want to miss any of these awesome videos coming out. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Stay tuned. Take care.